Hello, I'm Levi Hanna, and you're watching the 10th edition of The Edge. The Health Occupations and Advanced Health Sciences class attended this year's Health Occupations Student Association Competition. The health classes had to prepare for when they went to HOSA on January 10th, which was held at Saginaw Valley State University. Among the various areas to compete in, one of our very own EdTech students participated in sports medicine. You need to be able to take so a test and then you have to um, graph and do range of motion and strength testing for a certain extremity on the body. The teachers were really happy to see their students' hard work pay off. And every competition was different. I didn't have to do anything until I got there. They gave you a topic and then you do a project, so I didn't have to um, do a project before it. So Vanessa and I both went over how to take and wrap and do range of motion um, so over a couple hours. We'd go over it every once in a while, study out. These students take experiences like this to start their medical career at a young age. At HOSA, I play second. And they are succeeding. I'm Chloe Kaczynski, reporting for The Edge. Great job for all students placing, and good luck at states. High school administration has been encouraging students to fill out their FAFSA forms. There are also many helpful websites to go to when filling out the FAFSA, so make sure to take advantage of these resources. Uh, FAFSA is beneficial because it's the only way for you to get financial aid. And when you're starting college, you absolutely should have student aid. I mean, most parents haven't saved up enough money for the cost of college nowadays. So um, fill out FAFSA so you can actually go to college and pay for it. As we have hit the halfway mark through the school year, the construction class students are making some big progress with the house they are building. The construction class is making progress on the house. They are now putting shingles on the roof and the mechanical construction class has moved in to put in the heating and plumbing. The house is coming along pretty good. We're moving pretty fast. So. The mechanical construction class has put in the bathtubs, the outlets, and wiring. The roof should be done very soon. The roof will be done sometime next week. Even if the cold weather Mother Nature brings, the construction class is still very dedicated to finishing the house on time. Uh, the weather is not affecting us much, unless we have snow days. We can work in any kind of weather. Because of the cold, the construction class may miss some working days. It's cold, but it's not that cold. You just wear a jacket and it's all good. The students are having fun while building the house, getting a hands-on feel of what it will be like in the future. Yeah, I like working on the house. It's fun. Uh, probably working outside, being with your friends and everything. They still have a few things to finish up, on the house before it's completed. The plumbing and wiring will be done in three to four weeks. Oh. Reporting from the edge, I'm Nicole Froman. This past winter break was more of the break of survival with all the different weather we received. This year's winter break was extra cold and extra white. Thousands of people lost power, heat, and warm water. The big power companies also had so much to do, they called in 3,000 out-of-state employees and contractors from 13 states. And Consumers Energy even said that this was the worst ice-slash-snowstorm they've seen in their 126 years of business. And almost everyone had something to say about the roads. It was really bad, knocked out my power for like six days, couldn't travel anywhere, so I was kind of stuck in a 20-degree house. Um, didn't really affect me other than making the roads hard to travel. The weather really, really sucked. <laughs> so in the end, it seems like most people were more concerned about the roads and not being able to get out of the house than they were about losing power. But even in that, we went back to HVAC to ask Mr. Wright what he thought the best way to heat your house was when you have no power. One of the best ways to heat your house is to use your wood fireplace or a gas fireplace. Uh, we don't always have those in our houses, but that's probably the best alternative you can do in an emergency. On the other hand, the ice and snow made for some great photography, even in the cold. Whether it was the ice, the snow, or the people sent out to help with down power lines and clearing the roads. This has been Justin Kruger reporting for The Edge. 
The agri-science class planted Easter lilies in the spirit of the spring season. The agri-science's Easter lilies will bloom around Easter time and they will be selling them. These types of lilies will stay in bloom before and after Easter. The students also got experience on learning the best ways to properly take care of the plant. We learned how to um, plant them, we learned how to take care of them, and we know, like, we learn about why they bloom at certain times. We plant them from past bulbs, like, if they don't bloom right or they just don't get sold, we take the bulbs and then we plant them next year. Coming up next after the break, we have some interesting facts that will really get your brain dancing. I'm going to sell you some stuff, and that's going to Well, what I'm going to sell you is... Line. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's nothing. Well, do we have anything to advertise? I quit. Ah, poop. Do you have something that you would like to advertise? If you have a charitable or nonprofit event that you would like to advertise, the students in the DMA class can help you. The class is starting to run low on things to advertise through the EdTech building, and we need your help. Contact the DMA class for more information and to pitch your commercial idea. He's always got something new to say. Here's Mike with this week's Fun Facts. Welcome back to Mike's Fun Facts. I hope your cranium has tons of room for some awesome knowledge. Fact number one, bananas are not only fruits, but they're also an herb. This is because their stem does not contain the true woody tissue. Fact number two, grapes will create a light ball of plasma if they are nuked in the microwave. Fact number three, if you were to yell for eight years and seven months and six days straight, you would have produced enough sound energy to brew one mug of coffee. Fact number four. Consuming one chocolate chip will give you enough energy to walk 150 feet. There's this week's facts. I hope you all added many wrinkles to your brain today. Coughing, runny nose, and a fever. I hope you don't have these symptoms this time of year because it's flu season. Lapeer EdTech is feeling the heat this year as the annual flu virus makes its rounds. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly, disinfect surfaces in your home, and avoid those who have the flu. These are the best ways to avoid the flu. If you already have the flu, make sure to always cover your mouth when coughing. That's all for this edition of The Edge. Be sure to tune in for next week's edition. Keep living on the edge, Lapeer EdTech. <laughs>